An electronic lead screw synchronizes the movement of the lathe's z-axis to its spindle and is most often added to increase convenience or to add additional feed rates and thread pitches. Previously, I demonstrated work that I did on the Cloud42 electronic lead screw to add a touchscreen interface and uh, a carriage mounted feed stop switch. But there are two areas of that work that felt unfinished the user interface appearance and the limited number of feed rates and thread pitches available. Today, I'd like to share with you the most recent work that I've done on that project. Let's review the hardware on the test bench. There's the Nexian touchscreen a GPIO breakout board for the touchscreen, and this isn't used. The original seven segment display, and this has been disabled. A carriage mounted limit switch to stop feed once reaching the limit switch. The TI launchpad board, that's the red board. The Cloud42 EOS board, the green board. An optical encoder for the spindle. A breadboard to make wiring the encoder to the launch pad board convenient, the stepper driver, the stepper motor, and then off screen is a power supply for the stepper motor and driver, and also a power supply that drives the launch pad board and the Cloud 42 board, and then those in turn power the touchscreen and originally the seven segment display and the encoder. The spindle RPM is shown as a number here but it's also graphed in a moving waveform. The operation is selected by pressing this graphic, and this shows the operation that will be performed. So in this case, it's a right-hand feed operation, a left-hand thread operation, left-hand feed, and a right-hand thread operation. As the operation has changed, the value associated with it is updated. So in this case, a right hand feed operation at uh, five thousandths of an inch per revolution feed. To change between inch and metric, simply select the, uh, the value. And the units are shown below the value. In this case, inch per rev, millimeter per rev. Eight TPI, one millimeter pitch. When the updated EOS is powered on, it's quick to start. Beyond appearance, the major improvement in this round is the input of arbitrary feed rates and pitches. The initial state of the EOS is to be disabled so that when the spindle is turning, the EOS is not. To enable the EOS, press the go icon. To disable, press the stop icon. The icon will also change when feeding up to a limit and once that limit is reached, the icon changes, the EOS stops. Another icon that can appear is an alarm. So if we move the EOS too quickly, <laughs> causing the stepper motor default, the alarm will be shown. And that alarm will persist until the uh, stepper motor fault is cleared. While in the alarm state, it's not possible to change any of the parameters on the EOS. The EOS parameters can be changed while uh, the spindle is moving. Which is nice for dialing in that perfect feed rate. begin to type in a value and press the wrong button, simply press the back uh, button to erase that value, or press the cancel button to uh, return to the previous setting. This area is currently only used for credits, but it could be used in the future for jogging and also for feed overrides. For example, if you have a feed rate set, it might be nice to have a little potentiometer-like interface to slightly increase it without needing to type in uh, the feed rate. The Nexian touchscreen has an EEPROM uh, where settings uh, can be stored uh, and beyond remembering the previous feed rates, this could eliminate the need to compile the EOS program to set lathe parameters. 
Um, for example, setting the lead screw pitch and the stepper motor parameters via this arbitrary input interface would be a lot nicer for people who are not comfortable compiling uh, the code to the TI board. I've done some work to enable that by storing parameters to the touchscreen EEPROM, but the retrieval of the parameters hasn't been reliable, and I think it's probably because of a serial setting that I have on the TI board. Other suggestions for improvement for this, if anyone's interested, would be to implement the uh, current uh, ELS step pulse generation on the TI's uh, control logic accelerator coprocessor and use the CPU only for the HMI stuff. Also a control loop uh, implementation would be ideal so that um, there is a reasonable acceleration deceleration of the stepper motors and I, I think especially with the hybrid stepper motors uh, or servos that they will be less likely to fault um, certainly with fast accelerating um, spindles and implementing a control loop would help to smooth out jerking because of the derivative uh, component of the control loop. This is a good place to stop. All the improvements can be found on GitHub. Uh, links to the appropriate branches can be found in the video's description. The Nexian touchscreen interface code is independent of the Cloud42 EOS and could be picked up and ported to your own application, whether that be your own EOS or maybe a power feed for a drill press. Finally, as everyone says, uh, great stuff to come, so be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that bell button. All right, thank you everyone, take care.